In this video, I will explain the default ports used by Nessus Professional when port scanning and how to configure a scan for a custom list of ports. Let's start by discussing the default ports used. The Tenable Community Knowledge article titled List of Ports in Nessus Defined by Port Scan shows the approximate number of default ports used and where you can find the full list of ports, which is in your Nessus service file. Here you can see that in my Nessus service file, it lists each port used as well as the protocol. Now that we know where to find the default ports, I'll demonstrate how to configure a scan for a custom list of ports. I'm gonna to go to my Nessus Professional and I'm gonna create a new scan. I'll do a basic network scan and I'll give it a meaningless name, test. And I'll do a target and then I'll go to discovery you can see by default, it is set to port scan common ports and below it, you'll see a configuration of options that are provided. If we select this dropdown, we'll see two new options, all ports and custom. I'm gonna set it to custom. When you set it to custom, you see four new tabs pop up on the left, host discovery, port scanning, service discovery, and identity. In this case, we'll just select port scanning. Once here, we can see that the port scan range is set to the word default. We can change this to any list of comma separated ports or port ranges. For my example today, I will use the reserved ports. Here you can see you also have the option to consider any unscanned ports as closed. But I'll leave the rest of these settings as default. We'll then go to the bottom and we'll click save. You can see it takes us back to our scans page and you can see my scan right here, test. If you scheduled your scan to run at a future time, it will run then automatically, or if you wish to run it right now, you can hit the launch.